Quorn. Pan. Heat on. Seven. A little olive oil. And vegetable oil. Covers the base. I'm going to be using salt, black pepper and smoked paprika. If you have sage or oregano, I'm going to use sage. I'm going to put sage in near the end. Vegetables going in my lasagna today. Celeriac. Normally, I wouldn't use celeriac. I'm going to use it today, but normally I'd use celery. I've never put a pepper in my lasagna before, but I think it's going to work. This is what I do with my tomatoes now, because he gets more flavour. <laughs> Still on seven. I tend to pat it down. It still needs to defrost. What I want to do is get a sear on it. Okay, four minutes in, it's starting to sear, it's starting to brown. That's what I'm looking for. And I can see a little bit of dark that's going to burn. So what I'm going to do is add more oil, vegetable oil. Probably about two tablespoons of um, oil gone in there. So I'm working with a skillet so it's a bit different. I'm going to drop the temperature down to five and a half and then I'm going to pat it down like this to get more sear. Vegetable chop while I'm waiting. I would normally put carrot in but as the celeriac is quite hard I'm going to use that as both the carrot and the celery replacement and all of this will end up being part of the mince. I tend not to bother steaming onions these days. What I do is I put it in here for an hour. <laughs> two or three minutes have gone so I'm now going to check this. Extra oils help. Delicate stuff, so I'm going to turn the temperature down to four. And then pat it down like that. I'm not adding any extra oil in at this point. Separate pan, vegetable oil in, celeriac, or carrots and celery. That's at number seven as well. Doing a nice colour now. Lower the temperature now to three. I'm now going to add a little white wine vinegar or cider vinegar. Which you can hear and see cooking up. Now I'm going to add pepper, a little salt and smoked paprika. Well, oh, paprika is on and the salt and the pepper. I'm just going to stir it. And if anything, that temperature is going to go down. Not up. Because I've got the sear that I wanted. And if I cook it longer now, hotter I mean, that will get rid of the taste of the paprika. So now it's going down to one. And I'm going to be adding sage. But we can add oregano instead. I'm also going to add maybe two tablespoons of water now, just to keep it moist and stop anything from burning, even though it's at a low temperature. That's basically my mince done. It's about 10 minutes I suppose. Um, the next thing that happens with that, once I've left it stewing here for about five minutes, that will go with the rest of the vegetables that I'm cooking off here. Celeriac and pepper. And then eventually a tomato sauce will go on it. So nothing will get burned. Now. That's it. Right near the end of uh, all of this though, I will be adding garlic. I never add it at the beginning, I always add it at the end. So then, this is how I do garlic. If you add a little salt on top and leave it for a minute, that will actually start softening your garlic, believe it or not, and then I chop it fine. Chop garlic on the mince, which is still on number one, or number nothing, almost nothing, and then mix. My vegetables are cooked through, but they're not burned or anything. Still at number four, and I'm going to reduce that now to number two. And then this is when I put the mince in. Only thing this needs, two more things, is the onion, chopped onion, which I put in the oven, but you can steam it or just fry it, you know, the way you normally do. And of course, tomato sauce. So 
I'm going to make just a very basic tomato sauce with nothing else in it, just tomato and that will get poured on and then the heat's off that's ready that's my mint so I'll show you the rest um, I kind of lied about the tomato sauce so it's just tomatoes from the oven a tin of chopped tomatoes and then I wiggs it all up with a little well, a little maybe four tablespoons of olive oil and maybe two teaspoons of tomato puree you should of course put parmigiano in your bechamel sauce, your white sauce rather. I've got nutmeg in there and regular cheddar cheese because our parmigiano went off. And I'll leave that there until later in the afternoon because I want it to be thick because it's easy to spread. I don't like to pour stuff on. This onion will be ready in about 20 minutes. <laughs> That'll get to, I'll leave it to cool for a good 10 minutes and then I'll chop it up nice and fine. Obviously get rid of that skin. <laughs> and then that will go into the whole mixture. Looks terrible, but um, that's what we can focus on. That needs to cool. Done. I've actually never seen anyone put an onion in an oven for an hour and chop it finely to using the lasagna or anything else for that matter. It's just something I like to do.